Once again, I'm going to try. I have been playing for a couple months now. There's something called an SP-82-6 Wi-Fi transceiver. I've been doing all kinds of playing arounds with them. Trying to get them to do things. Oh, I want shift registers. Want TTL to USB. Talking to them. It doesn't matter what I do. I can't communicate with them. No matter how many of these damn little things I have tried. They, I get the same thing. I can get one or two of them to spit out garbage or stuff like that. I can get them to where I can get the proper bald rate so I can actually read what it says. But I cannot send an AT command or anything to them. Never been able to. And I have tried a lot of different ways. I'm really getting to think these things are nothing but a bunch of bogus crap, to be honest. But I'm going to try again. I'm going to start all over. I'm going to start all over. I'm going to start with a brand new breadboard. And I'm going to add my own powerful little switcher 3.3 volt voltage regulator. Nope. All right. And I'm going to solder pins on one so that it stands up straight like this. This is one of the real problems, is getting it so that you can plug these things into anything. I have tried all kinds of ridiculous Mickey Mouse ways of trying to get these things that you can use in. I've been waiting now for about a month for some simple little plugs to come in so that I can plug it into a breadboard and I can swap the units out so I can flash them or whatever. I've tried alternative ways. I've since then noticed people doing it by bending headers and soldering them on and doing like that. And that looks real great. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to have a mechanically sound unit that I can just stick on a breadboard. Although it won't be able to be swapped out because there'll be hard wired leads onto it. But anyway. That's what I'm going to do. And if it works, it works. If it don't, I'm just going to throw it all in the trash, I think. I'm really sick and tired of this. Okay. Good. Let's see what we got here. I'll turn off the solder now. Yeah. And let's see what we got here. Oh, can we see this? See how they're soldered in there? They're bent over. One set comes out the back. Another one sets out the front and ought to be able to very easily now just stick it right onto a breadboard like that. Nice and solid. Yeah. With plenty of places for leads. Alright. We like it. We like it. Okay. Let us put this right in the middle. If 
I can. Come on now. You can do it. There we go. There we go. Right in the middle. So I got three volt power support there. Actually, I think this is a three volt regulator right here. Is it a three volt or a five volt? Must be three volt. Okay. Just for simplicity's sake, rather than using a little stepper power supply unit. Oh, what, what is it? A one 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 seven three point three voltage regulator. I got it hooked up to a plug. Let's see if I can't come down here. Oh, okay. Turn it on. Oh, let's come over here before we plug it in. Let's get voltimeter. Voltimeter. And we'll hook the ground to ground. Ground to ground. Put my glasses on. Turn on volts. Come over here. This is a nine volt wall wart. Plug it into here. And if all's right, I should have 3.3 .3 volts coming off of this. Uh -huh. I don't know if you can see this or not, but three point three, three point two nine nine looks pretty good to me. Three point three, I guess that's pretty good. All right, so we got power. We got. Plenty of 3.3 .3 volt power. So, okay. This pin here. Is 3.3 .3 in. And this pin over here. Is ground. So let's take ground. And let's hook it to ground. And let's take VCC. And hook it to 3.3. Now I'm tempted right now to plug it in. But I ain't gonna. I'm gonna do my other wires. Okay, going and rewired it. Where are my glasses? There they are. All done now. 
starting with let's go over here here's the input power I've gone with a I think it's a 1117 uh, voltage regulator 3.3 volt flavor with a couple little caps on it this is the input plug for it the grounds the grounds got it out so both rails are running 3.3. I don't know if you can see it or not, but so this one here, that's VCC volts in 3.3 in, and it's going there. The next one is reset, and it's jumpered to 3.3, and the next one is your CD whatever something rather pin, and it's going there. In fact, they all go there on the back. Don't know if you can see it or not. And once again, on these pins here, first one here is receive RX, and it's going over to the uh, USB TTL serial unit. Next two ports, zero and two, they're they're raised to 3.3, and ground goes to this. Is this is your ground there? All right. I got things. The uh, I've also got the ground for the uh, serial interface unit grounded to everything else here. TX goes here, so TX is yellow. RX which goes to RX on the USB device and then the TX goes to RX here okay everything's set up and wired and we can try it and see if it works <laughs> Alright, let me rearrange things here and we'll see if we can't let some smoke out. Yeah. 